beloved viewer welcome to hope channel kenya uh, moment at jesus feet uh, probably you have a name does it have a meaning have you done a search on why your parent gave you your name some people have changed their names and they've sworn affidavits because of what they've come to be they do not want to be known by the previous name and uh, I don't know. But today we are looking at one individual. His name previously, Jacob, now Israel. Why the difference? Who gave him the name? There was a name Abraham, which came Abraham. There was a name Paul or Saul, later on known as Saul. Names change, but uh, do characters change also? <laughs> we will see about that. Welcome even as we continue with our discourse today with uh, the book of Genesis. We are looking at episode number 10 and we are looking at Jacob Israel. He's same person, different, uh, different uh, 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 life uh, situations or times. And with me studio here, I have brother Migok. Welcome brother Migok. Yes, um, I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we have uh, the Odoyo. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this study, and uh, let us be blessed together. Amen. And uh, we have our sign language interpreter, Sister Emma Kemunto. She'll say hi to us in their own language. Amen. So we'll do have a prayer by uh, Brother Roland Migok, and then we shall start with this discussion. Okay, shall we pray? Our kind and loving Father, thank you so much for giving us a chance so that we can go to look at your word. Once again, we ask that you teach us and you guide us in the way that we shall go. It is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm your host for today, so Bera Wycliffe. So we uh, welcome gentlemen to this study today, and uh, we are looking at, uh, uh, probably I'll have asked you what is the meaning of your name, but I will save that for another day so <laughs> that you also uh, 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 tell me. So we are coming from a, a study when we looked at previously in the book of uh, Genesis also, we looked at uh, an individual known as a supplanter, you know, uh, and uh, we rightly put it that a supplanter is a con man, a supplanter is a cheat, a supplanter <coughs> is uh, someone who takes, is a liar. A supplanter is someone who takes things, who thrives in, 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 in deception. Mm -hmm. But re later we now realize in the book of, uh, I'll be reading here, as even I call uh, Elder to put this into its proper context, we are looking at chapter number 32, 33, 34, and probably 35 of Genesis in all those chapters. And uh, we'll re I'm reading Genesis chapter number 32 and verse number 24. It says, and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled, uh, wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hull of his thigh, and the hull of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and he wrestled with him, verse 26. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let you go, except you bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name and he said jacob our key text is verse number 28 which says and he said thy name shall be no more jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and with men and has prevailed and jacob asked him and he said tell me i pray thee thy name and he <coughs> said wherefore it is that thou dost ask my after my name and he blessed him there hello welcome Thank you very much. You can you can do th th that. W what are we talking about here? Yeah, um, I want to see what we are talking about. Mm. I think uh, from the pr previous study in Genesis chapter 27, mm. verse 18, mm. the same question was asked by Isaac. Mm. What is your name? What is your name? And he said, I am Esau, Esau. your elder son. Mm. And then he stole the birthright. Fast forward. They move, they move, they move, and even the, God blesses him mm. according to the eyes of man. Whatever mm. he sees, children, mm -hmm. wealth, and workers and everything that he might have wanted in this world. Mm. But as if all is not enough, this question now comes, comes back up. again mm. from an angel. I want to say that uh, when the angel is asking <coughs> Jacob this question, 
he wants to bring Jacob to the reality of himself. Mm. Because when you want to meet God, when you want God to do for you something, you have to come the way you are and mm. show God that this is me. Just as I am. I am a sinner. Mm. I am who I am. But when we go to God and we want to put on clothes that are not ours, mm -hmm. at that time God has not bless us. So for this lesson, I want to see God bringing Jacob to the reality of himself. After evaluating himself, he goes to God the way he is and tells God who he really is. Mm. And that is now when God brings a new name to him. Thank you very much. Mm. Amen. Mother Migok, yes. anything to add to that so that we continue to the next next verse? Absolutely. Verse. Yes. Um, the change of name is uh, very um, interesting, interesting. In, in Jacob's life. And uh, the reason is because this is a time when he has left Laban. Um, he's also anticipating um, his reunion mm. with the brother. Mm. And so just like my elder has said, mm. um, earlier on he he lied or deceived uh, the father to say that he's Esau. Mm. So right now he's going to meet Esau himself. But yes. before that, he actually prays for deliverance. Yes. Then um, at night they meet with um, with, with the angel with of the, the Lord, now of or the Lord. God in this case, yeah. the Lord, yes. and then they can be able to have a conversation, not conversation, but generally they fight. They fight. Um, what I'm picking from here is something that I can say a sign of forgiveness mm. of sin. Of sin. God, in his wisdom, he chooses to forgive him, mm -hmm. and he chooses to baptize him with a new name mm. to signify that you're going to now be a victor. A victor because... I have changed your character and a victor because I have strengthened you. And now, going forward, mm. my blessings are going to prevail upon you. Amen. So that's what you are seeing even as we continue the study. That later on he reconciles with this all and so on. And so he becomes generally a blessed person together with this generation. Amen. Let, let, let me read the prayer of Jacob. Mm. Then we see how he meets with his brother. In chapter 32 verse number 9. Mm. And he says... And God said, and Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and uh, God of my father Isaac, the Lord which said unto me, Return unto thy country, and unto thy kindred, and I will deal with thee. Verse 10, I am, I am not worthy at least of all the masses. Am I not worthy of the least of the masses and of, of all truth which you has showed unto thy servant, for which my staff I passed over this Jordan? And now I have become two bands. He says, deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of the, my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and the mother, and with the children. And you said, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the son of the seed, which cannot be numbered for the multitude. Mm. What lessons what points are we getting from this prayer? Is this a man who has changed? Is this a man who has now decided that he is going to go back to God? Thank you very much. When you look at this prayer, this man is distressed. Mm. There is something that is, he is yearning for. Mm. You know, the last time he left home, it was uh, through assistance of Rebecca, mm. the mother. Mm that he goes, he flees from his brother who was enraged because of what he did. Mm. Now time has come. That he has to go. He has to go. And not just going. He started the journey. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are staying somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, interfered. You just, you just stayed there mm -hmm. in a wrong way. Mm. He was with Laban and he left secretly. And mm. that is a sin according to Laban. So he has he has destroyed the relationship behind, and wherever he's going, he's he's not very sure that he's going to be welcome. That is the so the, between a rock and a hard place. That is yeah. now. That is now Jacob, in a place in between. Mm, the place he doesn't between. know that he's going to be accepted there. He doesn't know that he can go back, and he doesn't even know what is happening behind. So this is when he goes down to God and tells God that you promised me that I will go back. Can I have a little of the masses from you mm. so that I can meet my brother? Is there a part of mercy remaining for me? Yeah. So that I may also get favor in the in the in, in, in my brother in my brother's eyes. 
you know i was looking at the at, at, at the word israel and i realized it means let god prevail mm. and i was looking at the word jacob he says uh, con man mm. supplant i realized the same when ella says that uh, the previously the father isaac who is representative of god as, asked him who are you he said i am eso he lied mm. And, and he received blessings that were just, you know, the song says the things of earth will dim and lose their value. Mm -hmm. If you recall, they just borrowed for a while. Mm -hmm. But this time, he answered, he answered and said correctly, what's your name? Mm -hmm. He said Jacob. But he said now, it's no longer will be Jacob, but I've changed it. Because I've realized that you've struggled with life and you've changed. Uh, Brother Migok, yeah. he is going to meet his brother. Mm -hmm. Esu. Mm -hmm. How do you meet someone you've uh, <laughs> not asked? forgiveness for mm -hmm. you've called them you've lied to them you've taken their blessing you've stolen you've done everything mm -hmm. wrong against them and you're mm -hmm. going to meet them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right um, maybe just uh, to reiterate on his point on the prayer that um, Jacob had mm. I think um, Jacob knew that he was wretched mm -hmm. uh, he was naked he uh -huh. was poor he's blind Man. Um, he actually says in verse 10 of 32 Yes. I am not worthy of the list of all the masses. He knew mm. that God is a God of mercy. Mm. He knew that God is a God of truth. God of truth. He was the opposite. Uh -huh. He lacked all those things. Mm -hmm. And so he desired God to extend his mercies upon him. Mm. He desired to walk in the truth. Mm. All right? So, so, so it's and, like now... He, and God he, answers that prayer. He has been converted now. Yes. He's actually been... Um, how do you call this... Um, when the Holy Spirit convicts you mm -hmm. of sin, mm. that is where he was. And he that is where felt he, sorrow for sin. Exactly. Uh -huh. And that is why he went to God for deliverance. Amen. And actually God answered his prayer. And that is why God now changed his name from Jacob to, to, Israel. to Israel. Now, mm. he is going to meet um, the brother. The brother. This is after 25, 20 mm. years 20 approximately. Years. Actually, he never saw his mother on again. Yeah. yeah. You can imagine mm. such a th situation. So his, his life has changed. He's worked for seven, 20 years for Laban. He's run away from Laban. Um, again, you find that um, he tries to make a covenant mm -hmm. with Laban so that he can be able to move to the next phase of life. So this, mm -hmm. in my view, is like a transition in life. A and transition. sometimes you also experience that in our lifetime, mm -hmm. whereby maybe, for example, um, you, had, you are at conflict with somebody, maybe your family member, your brother, your relative, your boss, and so on and so forth. Mm. And you want to move from one phase to, to the another. other. Mm. So that is where Laban was. I mean, not Laban, but um, Jacob, Jacob was. was. And so he was wondering, how do I go about it? Okay, let, let, let's read <coughs> Let's read part of uh, that so that we get the context. Chapter 32, uh, verse number... Verse number... Uh, huh, let me read... Uh, I wanted to read 33, verse 1. But let me, before that, read verse chapter 32, verse 17. He says that, and he commanded the, the, the before saying, when he saw my brother meet at thee, and asked thee, saying, who are you, and where goes you, and whose are these before thee? Then you shall say, they be the servant, the, 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 they be thy servant Jacob. It is a present sent unto my Lord Esau, and behold, also he is behind us. So verse 22 says, and he rose up that, uh, before that he says, verse 20, and say ye moreover, behold, my servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that he goes before me, and afterward I will see his face. But adventure will accept, he will accept it. Mm. He will accept of me. Mm. W why is he giving, sending a, a gift? Is he doing corruption? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> it is not corruption. <laughs> why is he sending a gift? But at, ta at times, as human beings, we want to appease God. Uh -huh. I want to look at it that way. At times, you want to appease God. Mm. Some of us might think that if I offer a lot of offerings and tithes and oh. uh, build churches and uh, offer my service mm. in the church, mm -hmm. then God will accept me. Mm -hmm. And exactly this is what Jacob was doing because now uh, he's going back to his brother and everything, he wants to do everything within his means mm. to enable him to meet the brother. And you see, I want to see, look at this in two, two, in two ways. He's sending gifts, and he's also behind here, very humble. This somebody was taken the birthright, and is now the priest and the king of the home. Mm. 
Mm. But it's going back to this person who is not who is not even having anything mm -hmm. and is saying that your servant is doing what? Is it's coming. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of humility. And at times when we go back to God, we go with such humility. Ah. We realize that it's a God, it's a Lord in our lives. And when we go there, I want to say that we, we also need to go with gifts. You see at <laughs> yeah. times not empty handed. You see at times when when we want to go back to God, look at Jacob. When he went to Isaac, he said it's Esau. Mm. And now when, when God meets him, he says it's who? It's Jacob. There are times when we go back, we go to God and kneel down in prayer. Mm. And we want to tell God that God maybe we have sinned. You see that term maybe. <laughs> in fact, you, you yourself, you know, you know that you have sinned Seems against unknowingly. God. unknowingly. <laughs> Not really unknowing. You have just sinned and known. Unknown. But when you go to church, you pray in Kiswahili, Mungu wenda ikawa tumetenda dami. So when, when, when you want to doubt, yani you don't want to tell God the reality. You don't, don't want to confess. You don't want to confess. You know Jacob confesses that is who? It's he Jacob. Is a and that, that, that name Jacob had a meaning. So mm. when he confesses that, Jacob, God now comes and tells him that you, you are no longer going to be called who? Jacob and he blesses him. And Amen. now after that relationship has been meant, mm. has been made, now Jacob starts walking towards his brother. Without fear, he wants to appease his earthly brothers also. So at times, we also need to send gifts to God so that God can accept our sacrifices. Thank Amen. You. We will pick it up from there. I see Brother Migok has a very, very... <laughs> oh, they, they, when we were in school, we used to say a pregnant point. I don't know if it gave back. <laughs> we, we, are, we are coming back to continue with that. But I read something here. He says that uh, the purposes of God were open to the discouraged man, who is Jacob, who felt himself cut off from God and he was cut off also from man. Cut off from God, cut off from man. In a marvelous life, Christ presented before him in a dream the way of life. The truth was unfolded before him in the emblem of the ladder. And its significance is a great lesson in our days as it was in his. If you read the book, uh, Review and Herald, page uh, uh, November 11, 1890. Beloved, we are going for a short break. But the question still is, I am a deceiver. At what point I have met God? Do I still lie? Do I still think? You know, deception is 1% lie, but 99% truth. <laughs> Have you deceived someone or has someone deceived you? Or have you deceived you? We, should, we shall be right back after this one. Welcome back, beloved viewer. We are looking at uh, our discourse today. It is possible that... Uh, we don't know what deception is all about, but it is, as we've said, 99%. If something is not truth, absolutely, then it is not truth. It is deception. You know, the devil said, you shall not surely die. How can you not surely die? My name is Esau, but in reality it was Jacob. But today, my name is Jacob. And God said, yes, you've said the truth, and I want to change you. God knows your name and he knows you in the deep down of your heart. We are continuing with this course. I have my, uh, uh, my teachers here, Brother Roland Migok and uh, Laudoyo, who will uh, help us to deceive more. I will read chapter 33. We are looking at Jacob, chapter, chapter 33. He says, verse 1, And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him 400 men, and he divided the children unto... Uh, uh, 400 men, actually 400 soldiers, eh? mm -hmm. and he divided the children unto Leah and unto Rachel, and uh, unto the two ha handmaids. Because and he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and uh, Joseph he foremost. And he passed over before them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. And they so ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes, verse 5, and saw the women and the children. And he said, Who are these with thee? 
and he said the children which god has graciously given that is our brother amigo mm -hmm. this is a loaded uh, a loaded uh, 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 verse and, mm. and, and, and and something that we are learning from mm. maybe you can give us more on this yeah all right so um we've seen that jacob prayed for deliverance mm. yes and um, to me, it seems like he was impressed by the Holy Spirit yes. to go or look for some gift so that he can go to appease uh, the brother after mm. the prayer. Mm. He takes the gifts. And even me, sometimes I do that. When, when <laughs> I wrong somebody, uh, I get something. Even to, when soften their heart. to soften their heart. Yes. I have a client of mine who recently I wronged her. And I said, okay, Paul is Anna. Uh, and then I could be able to we go and we sit down, we buy lunch mm. so that you can be able to soften her heart and they tell her that I'm sorry and all that. Yes. So I think this is something that um, I'm learning today that is actually biblical <laughs> and it is okay to always try and reconcile. So I think mm. Jacob was learning how to reconcile by doing what? By um, sending gifts and all that. Then later on, his name is changed. That means that he acknowledged that he was a sinner and now he was ready to be changed in terms of character. Amen. So after changing of character, he meets. Esau. Remember he's meeting Esau with humility. Mm. We've seen that him he's bowing seven times to mean that he has actually accepted to follow um, the ways of God and he's ready to um, be able to um, ex to just gently um, be, peaceful. be peaceful. Then Esau presents reconciliation. It seems to me God had gone ahead of Jacob and answered the prayers. Mm -hmm. Remember Jacob's problem was that how will it be? When, when I meet Esau. So God had gone ahead and softened the heart of Esau mm -hmm. so that they can be able to reconcile. And today as we speak, it tells me that even when a brother wrongs you or when you wrong somebody, be willing mm -hmm. to go through the process of reconciliation. Amen. And, and I, uh, something that I realized, Esau mm -hmm. came with 400 uh, men, mm -hmm. meaning he was ready for war. Oh. What happened? Thank you very much. Uh, I want to look at this thing from the step that Jacob took. You see, as he, from the start, he divided his wealth into two. <laughs> and he sent the emissaries to go and meet his what? His brother. His brother. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he was sending them an asemma. He's saying, peradventure, the first lot mm -hmm. is harmed, the other one will escape. Mm. When it comes to the family, he divides the family from the concubines to the wives. Mm. And I, I was looking at it critically. I realized that he divided them and sent them ahead of him in the order of the last least loved to the last <laughs> to the best loved. Mm. Because I can see Dina and Zilpa in front, then Leah, and then Rachel behind. But mm. uh, the good thing is that Jacob went in front of them. Mm. So what I was seeing here, Seven things that happens mm -hmm. when uh, Jacob goes to meet Esau. Now, the, the first thing, he sends these people. Mm -hmm. Esau does not even recognize them. Mm -hmm. With him, he's bent towards meeting his what? The brother's his brother. brother. So he proceeds, and these people are worried. So when he meets Jacob, I realize that Jacob bows down seven times to the ground and calls his brother, my lord. My lord. Remember, when his father was blessing him, that false blessing, he was blessed seven times. Mm. So as, 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 as the seventh, the completeness of this blessing, oh, yes. he bowed down, seven. just like returning the blessings to his brother. Uh -huh. Now you are my Lord. He's yes. bowing down. And when the family came, each and every person that was with Jacob bowed Bounds down to who? To his house. Realizing that the earthly things that we hold on so much mm. at times when we need reconciliation, they don't hold any water. Mm. So these people went down and bowed. I want to believe that it, it is Esau who could have bowed down to them because now Jacob is nice, the elder son. Jacob is wealthy. Jacob has a multitude of people that even surprises his brother. Mm. But now Jacob goes down with his family. Number three, Jacob acknowledged the lordship of his brother the eldership of him. Mm. Number four, he gives gift. Mm. And I realized that when he was giving this gift, mm -hmm. Esau refused. But he implored him to do what? 
to take the gift until Esau did what? Took so, the gift. Yeah. Then, after Esau has accepted the gift, what I see now is that Esau initiates the reconciliation, reconciliation now. Yes. And he forgives unconditionally, mm. just like so God. So it is important to forgive unconditionally. Yes. You know, the people who say, I forgive you, but, but I will not, not forget. forget. <laughs> then, as I accept now to take the lead, to lead Jacob home in safe. Ah. Mm. Note that now Jacob goes. Mm. Even though Jacob implores him that when we go with that speed, mm. the children and uh, mm. the circling animals will die. But he leads, the way. he leads the way. Then lastly, he offers all the assistance. That is what? Amen. That's needed. So when I looked at this, I just looked at Esau as God. Because when Jacob said that I've seen your face, mm. and it's like I've seen so, the face of so God, God. Yes. I realized that Esau starts in the place of God. When we wrong God and we go back to him, he takes the initiative. Whatever we go with to him, he doesn't accept. Mm. He accepts us first. Because Esau accepted Jacob first, then accepted the gift, and now did everything to facilitate their movement to the new land. Thank so you the gift much. is not as important as the individual. Yes. Brother Migok, uh, a gift is not important as an individual. You said you, are, you, 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 you have, uh, you have uh, inculcated this. <laughs> we, we, we thank the Lord <laughs> for this. You know, he says uh, Jacob wronged God and he conned his brother. But later on, he meets with God, then he reconciles with his brother. Mm -hmm. It is also important, beloved viewer, that we reconcile. The word, the word of God says that the Lord says, revenge is whose? Is mine. The Lord says, it is mine. But we, 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 we at times in our lives think and say that, I, last I have to revenge this one. So, this was, so, so brother, yes. there are times you want to reconcile with our, our brothers, mm. but you are not reconciled with God. Before you meet God, you can't reconcile with your brother. You will not have the, 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 the strength, the power, look at, the wisdom. Look, look at these families that, that, that are disintegrating. Mm. Before this family come, comes back to God, they will do everything. They will visit lawyers. They will visit counselors and every, every other person that they can visit, even pastors. Mm. But at the end of the day, without each and every person humbling down and kneeling down before God mm. to amend the ways, these families cannot stick together. If I'm, uh, maybe, Brother Migok, mm -hmm. uh, something small. Uh, what can you put on? Uh, I know on, on chapter 34 it talks about Dina and what happened to Nina. Maybe Dina. your inputs on that. Dina, the person. Not yeah. Dina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with Dina, Dina was um, the child to yes. Leah mm -hmm. and, of course, uh, Jacob. And um, uh, it seems to me she was very, very, very pretty. And so they were in the area of Shikem. Mm. Um, and uh, she was admired yes. <laughs> by a gentleman <laughs> called Shikem, yes. who was the son of um, Hamo. Mm. And so what they did is they actually lured her, and mm. then they, um, Shikem raped uh, mm. Dina. Dina yes. um, the information or that message um, was known to the brothers or the siblings mm. of uh, Dina, mm. who uh, was, I think it was a... Uh, it was uh, Simeon, Simeon, yes, and Levi. Levi. Simeon and Levi, yeah. Mm. So yes, yes. Um, later on, um, Simeon and Levi comes to um, uh, the family, or comes to Shechem and Hamom, and they talk to them and they try to find out why is it that they go, they went about this matter, and then they try and convince um, Shechem, and they tell them if you, if since you did this act, mm. you must. Be circumcised. Or you, you must uh, be circumcised first, mm. then Marry. get married to, to mm. Dina. Mm. So she came and said, okay, fine, that's a good idea. In <laughs> fact, he got circumcised because he loved mm. Dina. Okay, no, no, not, no, not, not really. You must marry. <laughs> Shechem wanted to marry because of what he had done. Yes, because mm. of but what now the sons of the sons of Jacob wanted him to get circumcised they, first. They gave instructions. Yes. yes. So. Um, it's interesting. Later on in the story, mm. they agreed to it. They get circumcised. I think after the three, the, after three days or so, yeah. when um, they are still <laughs> healing, <In> pain. <laughs> um, Simon and Levi comes and they <laughs> executed them. and they executed them. And eventually, um, the whole t people, I mean the family there, they die and um, they take away dinner. So it's just interesting to find out um, that um, they were also 
deceivers. <laughs> Beloved viewer, we, we realize that deception continues to play a major role in the discourses that we are learning. Mm. That uh, from how uh, Jacob was deceived, the deception continues. We will learn and, and, and later on we will see how this all changes. We will go for a short break. We shall be right back to continue with this. Statement. Beloved viewer, deception plays a major role in the discourse we are looking at. But uh, at the same time, the Lord is able to change us, those who have deceived, those who are deceivers, and to make us Israel of today. You know, many people sometimes say that, uh, you know, the, 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 the commandments were given to Israelites. Mm -hmm. And I always say that, you know, the first person to be called Israel is uh, Jacob. But we pray and say the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Maybe <laughs> that is a discussion for another day. We continue. Brother Migok and uh, we have Elder, Elder, Elder Doyle here as we continue with this 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 uh, discussion. Mm. And we say that there is also open deception. Mm. You, know, you see, I, I deception, uh, uh, let me read chapter 34 mm -hmm. of uh, what uh, Brother Migok gave us. <laughs> uh, Later on, Jacob does not feel good about what they did. Chapter 30, 34, verse 30 says, And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites, and among the Perizzites. And I, being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me, and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with an harlot? Uh, even before we move further, how do we deal with the people who have wronged us? We've seen that clearly that it is good to come in repentance and, and even to come with the, with the humility to ask for forgiveness. Elder, elder, between the one who is wronged and the one who wronged, sometimes people think you have to come to ask for me for, for, for forgiveness, for me to forgive you. But mm -hmm. uh, the Bible tells us it is not what lessons can we learn on forgiveness? Thank you very much. What I want to see from this violation of dinner, because now this is this is a lady, a, a girl. I want to call her a girl, a, a virgin, and she has mm. been raped. Mm. And what does the law say? The raper has, has to, to be killed. killed. Mm. And I think this was being taught in the house of Jacob. Mm. But you realize that in verse 18, Jacob lives in Canaan in peace. And this life is concerned about peace with people. So whenever such, such grave sins happen mm. in his house, Jacob is concerned about peace. Mm. And that is why when his sons fulfills what the law says, <laughs> he comes and rebukes them. Mm. That you have now done this, I will be insulted in this land, I will become a stink in this land, they can gather up and do what? And kill you. So you can see the kind of cover up that Jacob was trying to do in the name of finding peace with what? With, with people. Brings me to the point where we can say that at times we seek peace in church mm -hmm. until we don't rebuke sin. Mm, we seek peace until we don't rebuke we sin. We don't rebuke sin. We uh, I've, overheard, I've overheard somebody telling us that don't preach such things, mm -hmm. such pray, such things like adornment, such things like mavazi kwakanesa. Don't preach them because you will you will chase away our Christians. <laughs> so we want peace with these people in church to the extent that they sin, but we don't tell them because they will not do what go away. Mm -hmm. So the, in this area, we realize that after Jacob has had peace of mind of mm. staying in the land, mm. there were some other issues that he had to deal with. Mm. And one of them was this. Mm. This peace that he was seeking for in the land, mm. it was not to be at the expense mm. of the law of God. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's also a theme of uh, revenge mm. that we are seeing. These brothers mm. wanted to revenge, or re it was a form of retaliation. Yes, uh, yes, yes. To, yes. To, to say that, oh, this is what you've done to my sister. Mm. Wait, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and so they retaliate. But you see, mm. God's name is not glorified yeah. in that situation. Yeah. So how do we then correct when there's a wrong? 
um, and God's principles are the best. If you look at how God handled the case of Adam and Eve mm -hmm. in the Garden of Eden when they wronged him, he actually approached them and his desire was to reconcile them. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus Christ with his love, mm -hmm. he showed them how to slaughter um, animals so that they can go to offer as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And that is how they were reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing. Levi, Simon, they represent mm -hmm. the children of God. Mm -hmm. they, are the, they are supposed to have the truth. Remember the father was already changed in terms of character. And so that's the route that they should be taking. Mm. And they should have gone to um, Shechem and Hamo and even prayed with them, for example, mm. try to correct them or rebuke them in love so that God's name could be glorified. Amen. Amen. So, so I gather that uh, it is important that we, 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 we seek the Lord and when we are changed, our actions, actually, Brother Migok, sometimes when we study, he says that we are not saved for work. We are not saved because of the good things we do. Mm -hmm. But after we've been saved mm -hmm. we do good from things. the hand of a sow who wants to revenge unto us, mm -hmm. now those good works come, come naturally. Mm -hmm. So, but before we are saved, they die, isn't it? So let me read chapter 35, verse 9, which says that, And God appeared again unto Jacob again, and when he came out of Padanaram and blessed him, and God said unto him, Thy name is the name thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name, and he called him Israel. And God said unto me, I am, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. Mm. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee will I give, and to thy seed after thee I will give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. Verse 14. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering thereon, and poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spoke to him, Bethel, that is the house of God. Uh, Jacob may have started his life as a dysfunctional family. What mm -hmm. lessons of life can we learn from him? even in our lives when our family seems dysfunctional. Yeah, what I want to see here is that now Jacob has a lot of things to deal with. Mm. And as he continues dealing with them, mm. Jacob has to bring back the house in order. Mm -hmm. Mm. The dysfunctional house. Yeah, in as much as we can see that he was seeking peace, mm -hmm. Jacob had other things in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and even when he was rebuking his sons, mm. he was just rebuking them but he was seeing a bigger picture of this retaliation mm. in life that they are propagating. So Jacob had to deal with such things. That is why he didn't deal with the rapers, mm. but he deal, dealt with the what? Mm. With the sons. The sons. Mm. Number two, Jacob again has to deal with the wife mm. who stole idols. <laughs> because when, when she was leaving, that, that, when she, she was leaving his lovers. father's house, mm. she stole mm. the idols. Mm. And every time he went to meet God, God is explicit in his instruction. In Exodus chapter 33 verse 5, he says that remove all, all. Mm. the adornments in your hands mm -hmm. because they are idols, so that I can see what I can do with you even mm. for one day. Mm. In Joshua chapter 24 verse 23, he says, purge yourself mm. of all idol what? Idol, idol, mm. idol gods. Mm. So when, uh, foreign idols, sorry, foreign idols. So when we want to go to God, and we are still holding on to some foreign gods. Mm -hmm. God is telling us to leave them mm -hmm. so that we can move to him. You see, the act of worship will only be complete in the house of Jacob when all these things have been done. Mm -hmm. You see, he has reconciled with the brother. Mm -hmm. He has started to live in peace in Canaan, mm -hmm. but there are still idols in this home. Mm -hmm. So it is possible that uh, I can be in church mm -hmm. worshiping, serving, but I still have my own gods and things that I serve. Yes. Whereas I am in the place, I have moved from where I think was worse mm. to the house of God, but I'm still serving things that are not godly. That is very true. Mm. Go. What can you say also <laughs> to Adam? Yes, yes, yes. Let me just uh, chime in on that. Eh? Mm. Um, and I want to give an example. Mm. If, for example, you want to take a shower, Mm -hmm. You cannot go with your clothes. You see the way you are smartly dressed with your suit That's and your tie. True. You won't That's get inside the water mm. with your clothes. That will be done. You'll, ha you'll have to <laughs> remove your clothes so that you can take a shower. Why are you taking a shower? It's because you feel that you're dirty. You can see you're dirty. You want to, you want to feel fresh feel after fresh. that. Mm. It's the same thing. When mm. you're approaching the presence of God, mm. we also need 
to ensure that you come and you drop everything that you cherish mm. in our hearts. Sometimes Amen. in our lives, we cherish sin mm. that now creates a barrier between us and God. It says that uh, just so, <laughs> as I am, yes. without one plea, yeah. I come to you. Yeah. Yes. So that takes a lot of humility to accept that you have a problem, you have things that you've put in place that you've cherished more than God. And so it is just by submitting to the will of God. Jacob is a good example together with the family. They had to submit to the instructions of God. And today as we speak, the principle is the same, that we submit our will to God. In simple terms, mm. Christ says, take my yoke upon you, mm. and your burden will be lighter. Mm. Mm. Paul lived a dysfunctional life before mm -hmm. in thinking that he is serving God. But it is at the point that he meets God on the road to Damascus that he is transformed. Mm. Can we also have the same transformation in our life? Is it possible? It is. It is. It is yeah. very possible. Mm -hmm. The presence of God transforms you immediately. We saw that with Jacob when he said that he, see, he, see, he saw God face. face, face mean that actually, his character. Actually, we, we, the example we learned that uh, Abraham mm -hmm. meets God one on one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jacob meets God one on one. Mm -hmm. Paul meets God one on one. Joshua. Joshua meets thing. God one on one. Yeah. So a time comes that I have to meet God alone, yeah. me and my God. For your character to be transformed. Mm. Maybe. That is true conversion. True conversion yeah. is how to meet God. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, just what I wanted to add there is that when you go to a doctor, there are some questions that you are being asked mm. at that consultation room. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how did it start? Yeah. How do you feel? What kind of medicine have you taken before you come? You come. You came here. <laughs> your background, you see, your background, yeah. and everything. Your family yeah. and all other things you are being asked. For the for the doctor to help you to prescribe yeah. the right medicine yeah. for you, you, you have to be very honest. Mm. You know, I, I I was struck by this headache, and I took some Panadol. He writes down, I've been working on this uh, the, 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 this this piriton and every other thing. He's writing down so that he can know the right medicine to counter whatever you have done what you have used. But when we now go to God, you see Rachel, when Laban was looking for his gods, what did she do? She sat on them and she told his father that I'm um, sick, that yeah. sickness of women. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning, yeah. Laban could not find any god. Mm. And Laban went. And in fact, when Laban was going back, yes, Jacob was very angry with him. Because the gods were not found. Mm. But now this is the most beloved one in Amen. this household. And she has hidden the gods, the foreign gods. Before she dies, mm. these gods have to be purged from mm. the house of what? Amen. House of Jacob. Amen. 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 Brother Migok, uh, my director is on my neck. Mm. In, a min, in, in 30 seconds, mm -hmm. what lessons do we draw from the life of Jacob and family that is uh, dysfunctional? All right. Um, allow me to just focus on... God, uh, Jacob meeting God. Mm. At some point in our life, we also must meet God must face to face meet God for amen. our characters to be changed. Mm. That is number one. Number two, just the same way Jacob experienced a time of trouble, we are also going to experience a time of trouble later on as we wait for the soon second return of Christ. And you can see that in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 and Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14 to 18. Mm -hmm. So um, to my beloved viewers, I just want to encourage you right now that let us seek God with honesty. And when you do so, our characters will be transformed. And so we'll be able to be at peace. Mm -hmm. Just the same way Jacob lived a life of peace. May the Lord bless you. Amen, 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 amen. And I see you are burning in 20 seconds. Before Sarah dies, yes. Sarah gives birth to a child. Mm. And this child, not, not Rachel. Sarah, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel mm -hmm. sorry. Rachel gives birth to a child mm -hmm. and names him mm -hmm. Ben Omi. Ben Omi means the child of pain mm. because the labor pain killed her. Mm. But when Jacob came, called the child who? Benjamin, Benjamin. meaning the child of the right hand mm. or the child of promise, mm. the child of hope. Mm. We realize that when, when Rachel is in pain, this midwife told her, do not fear. Mm. Meaning that there is an assurance that even if you are dying, mm -hmm. the promises of God are very sure mm -hmm. and they will reach. And in fact, I realized that Rachel dies in the what? In, in, in Canaan. Mm. Last week we saw somebody also dying in where? <laughs> in in Canaan. Canaan. Rachel dies in Canaan. Mm -hmm. And the child, be, the child that is being born here is the child of hope called who? 
Benjamin. Yeah. So the yeah. name changes because when he, when he could have been called Benomi, meaning the child of pain, they could have reminded, been reminded of pain. But now they are being reminded of the hope that is ahead. Amen. Yeah. Thank you very mm. much. Amen. Uh, due to time, you know, this discourse is such 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 an interesting one. Beloved viewer, in verse number 26 of chapter 22, uh, Jacob says that I will not let thee go until or except you bless me. Mm. Today, don't let the hand of God go in your family, in your challenges, in your education. Don't let God go until he blesses you. He says in chapter 46 of Psalm that uh, the Lord, our God, is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Mm -hmm. You have changed and found trouble in your family, mm -hmm. but he has said today that uh, if you come to him mm -hmm. just as you are without one plea mm -hmm. and come to me, he is surely able to transform you and change you into the person that he wants you to be. Our only thing is to all to Jesus, I surrender all to him, we freely give. May the Lord bless Amen. you and keep you and shine his face upon you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We welcome uh, uh, Elder to give us a word of prayer even as we come to the... Uh, Let us elder. pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this discourse that you have led us through. We want to pray that you are a God who changed Jacob and to Israel. You may change our lives. And despite all the challenges that we meet in this world, Lord, at the end of this journey, we may reach the promised land. May your will be done unto every person that is listening to this program and each and every one of your child who is in need of you in any special way. May you touch them and may you also touch each and every one of us as you also prepare your church for your second coming. For this humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, beloved viewer. Keep watching Up Channel Kenya. I'm Sobera Wycliffe. See you next time.